Of course, Durin's theory of high dragon behavior is absurd, but... Yes? Did you need something? My people have translated that to Vinter manuscript. <gasps> Studies on dragon hunting patterns? Migrations? <laughs> Durin's theory that dragons can't see the color blue is refuted. With those dreadful raiders out of the way, we can finally lure out the abyssal high dragon. <laughs> you should have the honor, my friend. I've made note of the appropriate spots in the wastes for you to place lures. Place this bait, and then... wait. <laughs> it will be a momentous achievement in draconology. I'm off to plant the bait for the high dragon. I cannot wait to hear your observations. You must make note of how she circles the hunting area. We'll have to speak some other time. Boss, I want you to know, you're the best. Today is a good day. Today is a very good day.
see that? Asa! Of course, Durin's theory of high dragon behavior is absurd, but... Oh, yes? Did you need something? The high dragon attacked me when I planted the bait. I'm afraid it's dead. She attacked? How wonderful! You had a first-hand view of her behavior. Did you take any notes on her aggressive posturing? I suppose you would tell. <laughs> no matter. I should very much like to interview you. Uh, at a later time, of course. I could join your Inquisition. My expertise could be of use, and your scouts could help me find other specimens. Certainly. I'm sure the Inquisition could use the Draconologist. Excellent. I'm sure my research will be of great use to you. From Haven's fire come we, the able troop, to Skyhold now a fort of our own. Inquisitor, come have a drink. To killing a high dragon like warriors of legend. What exactly am I supposed to be drinking? Maras Lok. What does that mean? It means drink! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. Mm, that little gurgle right before it spat fire. And that roar. What I wouldn't give to roar like that. The way the ground shook when it landed. The smell of the fires burning. Tarsidathan Halsam. You know, Kunari hold dragons sacred. Well, as much as we hold anything sacred. <laughs> Here, your turn. That thing you just said, you shouted it during the fight, too. What does it mean? Oh, Tarsidathan Halsam. Closest translation would be, I will bring myself sexual pleasure later while thinking about this with great respect. You shouted that while it was breathing fire at us. I know, right? Mm. <coughs> yes, the second cup's easier. Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi. The Glorious Ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. Why do you think the Gunari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more 
dragony than most people. Maybe it's that. But a few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, <clears throat> the Tamathrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Maybe drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed... <sighs> ...spoke to me. It's a shame we had to kill the dragon. Damn good fight. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So, they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. <coughs> nice! To dragons! <coughs> so whatever this is and the hangover it's going to give me tomorrow. Anan!